okay so since it is open source there are many platforms with which we can try it out so to begin with we would we will use an online uh, free online service called overleaf so part of it, it it is free because if you want to have advanced facilities then you need to have a uh, subscription based service otherwise you can use their free service which is more than enough uh, for anyone to try out all the examples and learn to use LaTeX. The other option is to install uh, the LaTeX in your system. So depending upon whether you are using a Windows or a Linux or Macintosh, you can uh, use the inst installation steps. So I have shared uh, the link to the Overleaf website as well as a link to a web portal in the chat. So you can go to the Overleaf uh, website and sign up for an account so that you can try out the examples which I will be showing alongside or you can try it out later also uh, once the session is over and also there is instruction if you really want to set set up the environment in your system local system then uh, that steps are also mentioned in that in initial installation setup instructions so you can use uh, one um, LaTeX editor called Text Studio along with MicTex to uh, use the software offline. Okay, so one difference is that if you are using Text Studio, since it is already in your system, you can use it offline and it will be uh, processed faster. In the case of Overleaf, what we will be doing is we will be writing the code and then compiling there will be a slight delay because the request has to go to the uh, overleaf server and they have to process and uh, show you the result okay so this is a basic uh, graphical user interface for the text studio environment uh, which you will be just for your information like there is a place for you to type the uh, commands and there is a place that will preview the um, resulting PDF file and also some uh, message area where you can see the errors or any other warning messages. Um, so the advantages with Overleaf is that you can work from anywhere. Suppose you started to create an article from your uh, office and you you were halfway through and you came back to your home you can again log into your account and continue the work you don't have to worry about the installation or library issues and also it is backed up so you don't have to worry about losing your files and things like that it has additional features like uh, real time collaboration with other people etc so um, you can go to overleaf.com and this is the uh, a basic uh, version or basic graphical interface which you will be greeted once you uh, created an account and logged in.